make sure to make sure to drop a like for more Vanguard content. All right, I'm gonna end it up. All right, so I know I made this little video into a YouTube short, but I wanted to show you guys this video in 1080p and full screen so you can see everything because Vanguard is quite possibly the most polished, best Call of Duty game to date. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the map again. Why? Oh my, what was that? I was dying of laughter when I was putting that little video together because I'm just so confused as to what I'm looking at. Half the video is a seizure, the other half is either me falling under the map or dogs flying all over the place. I'm currently on the PS5 version of Vanguard. We're gonna play some patrol, I guess. I'm just a tad bit emo because before recording this video, I was trying to get my brand new PC going, but it currently can't get past the BIOS menu. We had some power surges over the weekends. I'm pretty sure the PC will be fine. It's not dead. Oh yes, it's the map that has the most glitches, Eagle's Nest. But yeah, man, there's so many other like weird glitches. Like I think over here, you can just kind of like hang out in the rocks. <laughs> yeah, look at that. You're not supposed to be able to get here. You can kind of hang sorta out of the map. Well, I'm gonna get him from here with my Panzer Shrock. Yo, nice sun, dude. All right, that's a kill. Wait, no, it's not. Cause the launchers are so great. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I probably should not be doing this, but like, I just wanted to show off the spot. Look at that. You're like, you're not supposed to be there. I got a nine time zoom for the folk. We got to put that on. Trying to hide up. What the f what a nerd? Silence SCG trying to camp on the table, man. Gross. <laughs> I got a buzz kill too. Yeah, let's try to shoot down that counter spy plane. This will be easy. It's really easy to shoot down the enemy spy planes and counter spy planes. As you can see, that's gonna destroy it right there. <laughs> How the fuck do you shoot it down, man? Look at that. No one else on my team is even. Oh, I got a hit marker. It's possible. Yo, that's gotta take it down. Two shots. Hit the ass. It, it missed the ass. The fact that it's not one shot to destroy a counter spy plane, that is so cruel. So, you know, in the next couple days or so, the beta is gonna be coming to an end. And I gotta say, this has been the most polished beta ever. Since they're using the exact same engine as Modern Warfare, the game really doesn't have any problems at all. The game just uses the same stuff as Modern Warfare, so it doesn't have any glitches, no bugs, nothing. It's perfect. I look at this game and I'm like, yep. That's ready to ship. We're all good to go. Let's start selling millions of copies. Why are you still camping there? I think I can camp for dogs. Dude, you are such a f still in this. Hostile dogs in the zone. He got his dog. He actually camped for dogs doing that. You know, I've been playing Blitz Patrol this whole time for that chance of getting people to line up for a multi on the objective, but you can't do it. You just get hit mark. Look, that was a triple hit marker. I get the elimination assist, but not the kills. Like, look at that. Direct hits, still nothing. Okay, cool. But joking aside, once this beta is completely over, I want to make a video giving my feedback with all the things that I like or don't like about the beta. Because all that stuff I was saying about the game being perfect and polished and ready to go, yeah, none of that's true. It really is conflicting because this is one of the most unfinished Call of Duty games I think I've ever seen in a beta state. When most games typically have a beta, the game's actually ready to go. It's basically finished, and it's just to hype the game up. To get people talking about it, playing it, all that good shit. But then you have this game's beta, where it really is a beta. Like, this shit is not ready yet, man. <laughs> See, look, we have the dog glitching out again. Why? Every single time. It's gonna ascend. Oh, I wanna see it go. No! Get me out of here! Oh, the flag dog's gone. But yeah, the reason why I'm conflicted is because this game being so broken is actually kind of fun. I just got a triple panzer track. Come on. And then nothing. Wow, that's the first panzer track triple I've gotten. No lie. I've never been that emo in my life. I've never hit a panzer track triple. I, I've literally looked at like six or seven people and just gotten a double kill. So I don't even know how I pulled that off. But yeah, the bugginess of this beta has actually been pretty fun. Like I enjoy the goofy attachments. And weirdly enough, if this beta wasn't as broken, I don't think it'd be nearly as much fun to play because there's so much weird goofy shit that's been happening. But at the end of the day, all these broken attachments and weird things going on with the game, it has to get fixed. And it most likely will get fixed. There's a, there's a quad right there. I Okay. The Panzer Shrek is too slow to aim and it does not do enough damage. Even the flags are glitching out here at the end. <laughs> I feel like a lot of the weird visual bugs that have been happening on Vanguard so far are because they turned off that whole distortion effect thing. Don't get me wrong, I think it's a good thing they turned off the distortion because it really doesn't look good at all. It's not helpful for anything in multiplayer. But at the same time, I think when Sledgehammer removed the distortion effect, it broke so many different aspects of the game. I really just think the game needs to be optimized to perform well without distortion. Not with it. We got more 10v10 on Eagle Nest. I mean, this is really like one 
one of my favorite maps to play. There's so much more potential on this map for using like the shotgun and the knife. I gotta take this scope off though. The scope is so dumb. I just want to hit a launcher quad, man. I got the Panzer Shrek to level 26. That's so disgusting. There's not even any attachments for it. That's how much I've been trying to get a qual with it. The potential's here in these game modes, man. I just, no luck. Noity noit. <laughs> noity noit. I need more ammo. Give me my fucking ammo! God! Yeah, going for the launcher quads is not fun. That's not even a kill. How is that not a kill? Enemy Direct hit. Multiple hit markers. Nothing! Yo, this guy has no textures. What the fuck? No, he's dead. I like how it's 194 to 44 and their team is just now deciding, hey guys, we need to play the objective. Now is a good time to try to get a comeback. <laughs> the enemies had no chance in that one score-wise. Somehow third best on the team only using a Panzer Shrek. This is a weird beta, man. <laughs> oh God. Dare I go for the Itra Burst? This thing makes me so sad. Enemy has a counter recon what? Okay, hold on. This guy is in the same lobby and he can't for dogs again. I'm done. Why am I getting 6v6 with all max ranks? What the f- I'm queued for a blitz, man. Ah! I just don't have the patience for it today. I don't. Especially after getting my first Panzer Shrek triple and then not being able to get a follow-up kill. And in that same game, there was a quad right there. I just don't want this to be another year of Cold War where there's no launcher quad feeds or basically none because they're so weak. Oh, fuck out of here. Get out of here. Nice voice. That makes me feel better. Nope. I can't enjoy any part of this game today. He spawned in the. <laughs> I've been on this. I didn't spawn here. Dude, no way he knows. No, no, he knows. We put other carriers by plane, but he, he can't possibly shoot me. <laughs> when you call up a carriers by plane, you're not allowed to get kills. Eyes up. Oh no way, dude, that guy is- No way, he's hacking me! I gotta get this guy a tissue box. Easy win. Fuck the deuce! Fuck the deuce, nice. Good, good voice line. Alright, so if you're sprinting and stuff and you go to aim, it's already pretty slow, but look at the super sprint. Watch how slow the gun returns to your hand. <laughs> then you can shoot. Boom! That is me clicking the trigger as fast as I can. One thing I think is hilarious, I don't even know if the M1 Grand's capable of this, but you can get 16 rounds. You get that at 25, and I'm kind of curious to see how that would be. Because the M1 Grand is a pretty consistent two-shot kill. This is not the map to use it on, that's for sure. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Double kill. There's a double, come on, more. I'm not gonna thank you later! Why is this play so laggy? Yo, I almost completely forgot <laughs> Karina and I were playing. I'm not gonna show it in this video, maybe some other time, but the, like one of the plays was so broken that it took three minutes to show the entire kill cam before the game was over, and we had to restart our games at the end. It was just so insane. Love this game! I love this game! Nah, but for real, I'm gonna end it here. I've had nothing to show for, and I'm, I'm just getting too mad. So with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys somehow managed to enjoy this Vanguard beta video. If you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see some more of the best Call of Duty game ever make sure to drop a like and i'll see you guys later i don't need it i don't need it i don't i don't i don't need to die but that's <laughs>